This is the Music History Today podcast for September 10th. On today's show, Nirvana smells like teen spirit, The Fresh Prince debuts, and Michael Jackson performs in Manhattan the night before the tragic events of 9-11. First up, though, on this date in 1962, the BBC banned the song The Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett. In 1964, Rod Stewart went into a recording studio for the first time and recorded the song Good Morning Little Schoolgirl. In 1965, The Birds recorded the song Turn, Turn, Turn. In 1966, the song Cherry Cherry by Neil Diamond became Neil's first big hit on the Billboard singles chart. In 1968, The Beatles recorded the song Helter Skelter. My favorite Beatles song, actually. Probably next to Revolution. In 1970, B.B. King recorded his iconic Live at Cook County Jail album. In 1973, the Rolling Stones song Star Star was banned by the BBC because the real name of the song is Star F-er, and you can figure out what the F-er actually stands for, I'm sure. In 1982, Decca Records capitalized on the Beatles' popularity by releasing the group's audition tape on the album The Complete Silver Beatles. Decca Records famously rejected the band because Decca said that the Beatles had no future in show business because guitar groups were on their way out. Yeah, that worked. In 1990, The Prince of Bel-Air debuted on television with Will Smith. In 2001, Michael Jackson performed the second of his 30th anniversary tribute concerts at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The next morning, the attacks of 9-11 would begin less than two miles away at the World Trade Center. We discuss more about this, sort of, but mainly about 9-11 and its effect on the music world on this week's music history in-depth podcast which has actually already dropped by the time you're probably hearing this if not within a few hours afterwards on this very network by the way please like subscribe and do all those things the algorithm tells you to thank you anywho back to this in 2005 singer peter andre married model katie price also on that same day guitarist jeff beck married sandra cash in 2009, Nine Inch Nails finished their Wave Goodbye tour, and then they waved goodbye to touring for four years. In 2013, Apple announced that they were creating iTunes Radio. In 2016, singer and actress Anna Camp married singer and actor Skylar Astin. And in 2019, Skillet band member John Cooper published a post-apocalyptic graphic novel of the band called Eden. In classical music, in 1838, Hector Berlioz premiered his opera Benvenuto Cellini. In 1863, George Bizet premiered his opera Les Pêcheurs de Paris. In theater, in 1978, the Broadway show Timbuktu closed, and in 2000, the Broadway musical Cats closed. In award ceremonies that were held on September 10th in 1998, Madonna and Will Smith were the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. In 2008, Dan Fogelberg had a street named after him in his hometown of Peoria, Illinois. And in 2018, John Legend became the first black male to win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award, better known these days as an EGOT capturing an Emmy for his part in the TV musical Jesus Christ Superstar. The musical's writers, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, also won for Superstar that night, making them EGOT winners as well. Albums that were released on September 10th include in 1973 when the Carpenters released Eric Clapton's Rainbow Concert. In 1974, Frank Zappa released Roxy and Elsewhere and Randy Newman released Good Old Boys. In 1975, Kiss released Alive. In 1976, Bob Dylan released Hard Rain. In 1982, Diana Ross released Silk Electric. In 1986, Bill Drummond released The Man. In 1990, Neil Young released Ragged Glory and Betty Boo released Boo Mania. 
1991, John Cale released Even Cowgirls Get the Blues, Sarah McLaughlin released Solace, and Jethro Tull released Catfish Rising. In 1996, John Mellencamp released Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky, R.E.M. released New Adventures in Hi-Fi, and Rush released Test for Echo. In 2001, Alison Moyer released the essential Alison Moyer. The very next year, Alison Moyer released Home Time, and Peter Wolf released Sleepless. In 2010, Linkin Park released A Thousand Sons. 2012, Duran Duran released The Biggest and the Best. In 2013, Madonna released MDNA World Tour, and The Clash did a twofer. They released five album studio set and sound system. Singles that were released in the UK on September 10th include in 1965 when Martha and the Vandellas released You've Been in Love Too Long and The Fortunes released Here It Comes Again. In 1976, Wild Cherry released Play That Funk and Music. Meanwhile in America, in 1968, Marvin Gaye released His Eyes Are on the Sparrow. In 1978, Harry Chapin released Flowers Are Red. In 1982, The Weather Girls released It's Rain and Men. Hallelujah. Also on that same day, The Jam released The Bitterest Pill I Ever Had to Swallow. In 1991, Nirvana released their classic Smells Like Teen Spirit, and as far as the mainstream was concerned, that was the beginning of grunge music, as far as the mainstream was concerned. In 1996, Metallica released Hero of the Day. In 2001, Joe D. Messina released Bring on the Rain. In 2006, Beyonce released Ring the Alarm. In 2007, Taylor Swift released our song, and in 2010, Rihanna released Only Girl in the World. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 10th include Joe Perry of Aerosmith, Mikey Way of My Chemical Romance, DJ Boom Jinx, Don Powell of Slade, Jack Kalinske of Jack and Jack, singer Ali Fitz, Peter Tolson of Pretty Things, Matthew Followill of Kings of Leon, rap legend Big Daddy Kane, Josh Balls of Motionless and White, rapper Sheck West, singer Elise, Miles Zuniga of Fastball, Robin Goodridge of Bush, Siobhan Fahey of Bananarama, Johnny Hickman and David Lowry, both of the group Cracker, Barrymore Barlow of Jethro Tull, singer Jose Feliciano, bassist Rick Rosas, who played with Neil Young's band, Pat Mastelato of King Crimson, and also the group Mr. Mister, Carol Decker of Tapau, Danny Hutton of Three Dog Night, country music singer Tommy Overstreet, singer Roy Brown, Artie Tripp of the Mothers of Invention, and also the group Captain Beefheart, Disco jazz artist Roy Ayers, opera singer Thomas Allen, Johnny Fingers of the Boomtown Rats, Bill Stevenson of The Descendants, country music singer Rosie Flores, singer Sanjaya Malakar of American Idol fame, singer Yima Sumak, band leader and clarinetist Poot Wickman, band leader and pianist Raymond Scott, band leader and trombonist Frank Coughlin, singer and dancer Adele Astaire, and composer Lou Handman. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 10th include violinist and composer Marco Ussolini, who passed away in 1680 at the age of 77. Singer Baldassar Ferry passed away in 1680 at the age of 69. Organist George Guest passed away in 1831 at the age of 60. Composer Carl von Lichtenstein passed away in 1845 at the age of 78. Composer Simon Sector passed away in 1867 at the age of 78. 
Harpist Franz Stockhausen passed away in 1868 at the age of 79. Composer Harrison Millard passed away in 1895 at the age of 64. Composer Friedrich Gernsheim passed away in 1916 at the age of 77. Composer Alfonso Rendano passed away in 1931 at the age of 78. Composer Percy Fletcher passed away in 1932 at the age of 52. Composer George Henschel passed away in 1934 at the age of 84. Composer Giuseppe Mule passed away in 1951 at the age of 66. Opera singer Peter Anders passed away in 1954 at the age of 46. The conductor of the Graz Opera from 1947 to 1950, Hans Swarovski, passed away in 1975 at the age of 75. Composer Stanislaw Lyudkovich passed away in 1979 at the age of 100. Saxophonist Pepper Adams passed away in 1986 at the age of 55. Singer and actor Yves Montand passed away from heart issues in 1991 at the age of 70. Lee Baker of Lee Baker and the Agitators was murdered along with his aunt in 1996 at the age of 53. Music journalist for Melody Maker magazine and also author of musical artist biographies, Mr. Ray Coleman passed away in 1996 at the age of 59. Gospel singer Vernon Guy passed away in a car crash in 1998 at the age of 53. Opera singer Alfredo Krauss passed away in 1999 at the age of 72. Blues singer Clarence Gatormouth Brown passed away in 2005 at the age of 81. Guitarist Steven Springer passed away from cancer in 2012 at the age of 60. Computer music pioneer Mr. Newt Wiggin passed away in 2016 at the age of 89. Rapper Dereal G. Money was shot and killed in 2017 at the age of 22. And guitarist Michael Chapman passed away in 2021 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 11th, when in 2001, the events of 9-11 shaped music for the decades that followed. 